Easy peasy games. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the first episode that I'm going to be doing of The Witcher Thronebreaker. I am a huge Witcher fan. Uh, loved the books. Uh, enjoyed all the games. Uh, the first one, not so much. The first one wasn't bad. I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited to get into this. I've had this game for quite a while. Played a little bit of it uh, back when it first came out, and I just never had the time to play it. So, uh... I'm going to do it here with all you guys. Um, so uh, feel free to laugh at my inability to play a card game. Because uh, I haven't played a card game in... Like a card game like this at least in a very, very long time. So uh, anyway, let's get into it. What are the difficulties here? Players want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story with the option to skip battles. No, I'm not a little ween. From... Players seeking a moderate challenge and an impactful story for players familiar with Gwent and ready to put their skills to the test. Now, I did enjoy Gwent playing it in Witcher 3, but that was not like I played it a ton. Choose a slot to start a game. Uh, let's. Yeah, delete that sucker. Delete this sucker too. I have no clue where I was in that. The year 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Hmm. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. <laughs> well, he looks like a man who doesn't travel much off the couch, so I'm not too terribly surprised he's chafed. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. <laughs> Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. Uh, the situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. This dude is just side-eyeing. I mean, she kind of is too, but she looks more regal. He is just side-eyeing the hell out of this guy. Uh... Hey, calm down. You're well. Give yourself a damn heart attack. Come bro. now. Deep breath. All right. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw-stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden. To Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold. Uh, it's stolen, your grace. Ooh. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. Oh. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. 
A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You... <laughs> Send a herald to Hawkspun. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? Taking all your shit. I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. Welcome to the Thronebreaker tutorial. By Charitable using the mouse. Wait a minute. But is there stuff back here? There is not stuff back here. Okay then. Should probably do what it says and follow the road. Follow your road. Follow your road. At least I can hold it. I don't have to click every time I want to go somewhere. You will expand your army throughout the game, but to do so, you must collect the following types of resources. Gold, wood, and recruits. So I'm playing Warcraft over here. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new paintings who will support you in battle. That's cool. Be sure to thoroughly explore the map and complete side quests. Ooh, I like exploring. Oh, thought it were bandits riding in. Got me some wood and gold. Uh, what about this guy? What do you got to say, man? You gonna talk to me? I am your queen! I'm just taking everybody. I just walk into the village and like, hey, I like that. Give me all that wood. You need this to keep your houses warm? Too fucking bad. My wood now. They stretched her over a fire. Oh. So she told him where she buried her gold. Where Rather she buried die gold? than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Where'd she keep Sit it? Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Ooh. Alright. What is this? Mmm, recruitment points, I'm assuming. Normal morale. So I'm guessing that whenever I do something, choice-wise, my morale is what will suffer from it. There's that treasure. That was easy to find. What? I'm cheap. I don't want to spend shit. Issue axes to soldiers and put them to work. Hell yeah. Oh, we get more wood this way. We lose money. But I got a lot of money. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I have a feeling that I'm going to need the soldier power. Not all. Some events can be predicted. Can, cannot be predicted, so you'd best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! All right, getting straight into it. So we get unique parts. Let's do it. This is the battlefield. You'll play your cards on the bottom half, and your opponents will play on the top. Into 
put in two rows, melee range. Remember the abilities of some of your cards may be different depending on the row you play them in. The standard battle can last for three rounds, and that first to win two rounds wins the match. They are to target. To attack the Queen? An outrage! Your Grace, the men await. You Ooh, must you lead to begin the attack. Opposite this year. So seven is their power then. My spirits will salt of the earth, they are, your grace. They follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Each leader has own ability to learn what it is, just so clear. Boost the unit's strength and add armor to it. She can use this ability once every few turns. I shall teach you to respect the crown, nice. you dogs! And he gets a little bit of armor. Hey, babe. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't blow all my cards. Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! A lesson in humility coming now. <laughs> the strays took tail and run. <laughs> yes, our victory is assured. Sound the horns. May they sing praises of this triumph for ages. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. I've only got one more card. Battle formation! Protect the Queen! In the previous round, I'll play the first. Aye. Too far away. Give me a time. Yeah, yeah. Abolist to your command. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. That wasn't bad. <clears throat> Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Neve said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road before. Caldwell explained, 
avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! <laughs> the Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and <laughs> armorists close face. behind, and following <laughs> the, the bandits <laughs> bound in chains. He's like, oh! <laughs> Look at the eyebrows <laughs> now. Oh, man. What a little bitch. Yo, oh, she mad at you. <laughs> what else we got here? Hmm. Ah, oh, I do adore this prospect. Yes, Lyria, the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three oh, weeks in the saddle, what a suck ass. as my doubts count, we shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. That is really the spell of it they deserve. I love the art style in this game. It's awesome. Pitch camp by pressing the tent button on the side of the screen. All right, tent me up, bro. Camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Okay. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. Okay. Oh, I get the hiccups over here. Here you can build and improve camp buildings. Improve your camp buildings. You must first collect an appropriate quantity of gold and wood. <laughs> For your journey, you'll definitely need access to a regional map. Probably shouldn't have my phone blaring at me. Um, but to get it, you will first need to improve your royal tent. Okay, they're only intent to level two. Okay. The workshop itself can be improved. With each subsequent improvement, you gain access to new, stronger units. Go to the command tent to view your army. Ah. Cards currently in your deck are displayed on the left hand side. All available cards are all available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on the main screen. Gain access to new cards by upgrading your training grounds and workshop as well as through certain story related tasks. Twenty five cards while not exceeding your army's recruitment cap. Ah. Okay, you see, right click now on the wagon bird to preview and, uh, all right, I'm, I'm right clicking it, but not right clicking the right thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that gave me what I needed to get it, so I'm, sp I'm not spending. My hard earned resources. Resources. Did I add it? I did. I see, I have two here. Hmm. Play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. Spawn two light infantry on the right. These sound all pretty basic, but summon all copies of this unit. I didn't mean to take that out of the deck. So I put the Rivian Pikeman out and he just summons every one of them. That's pretty interesting.
That's nice. Do I have any of him? The regiment drummer. I do. I have three. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Oops. <coughs> You can now take a look at your other camp buildings and familiarize yourself where you can return to the main camp. We'll look very quickly because I want to get back to the game. Uh, royal tent, the mess tent. Huh. So I already have level one. Oh. That's pretty nice. Is that just for this map, though? I could always use extra resources. Ooh! Getting gold for every battle won. Oh, I don't have the... Money I spent on that! I suck! That's great. Your Highness are uh, artisans from Grabado uh, Gradibor. Oh, damn. Artisans from Gradibor have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. I've included an engraving of the design. You'll be pleased with it, I hope. A century and lion inherited from King Coram. I King Coram I. Bard fangs offer stunning realism. Baird fangs. Whoa. Okay, I can't read today. Hold on, let me, uh, let me rub the crap out of my eyes that apparently I stuck in them before I started this. Bard fangs offer stunning realism, and the ancestral sword of the Delans of Tamaria appear as if forged in the very depths of Mahakam. I have no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Gustav per Peril? I don't butcher in that. Royal Steward. Dear Meeve, you've my gratitude for attending the summit. What luck we did not put off meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies on the march are kicking up a veritable dust storm across the Yuruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional support. Best wishes, Dimavent. Oh. Yeah, we got Dimavent's backing. That's nice. Noted. <clears throat> Increased Nilfgaardian activities in foothills of Amel Mountain in near Reedbrun. Ambassador claims routine training exercises, number of troops qualify, equipment. So this is just basic. Born to Revolt, Dungeon, Spala Castle, Mini Pickpockets, Racketeer. Determine identity of groups leader. Okay, so these are things that we'll be doing. I'm assuming like we'll be finding people, like the side quests and stuff. A little bit of your time and you may learn a secret or two. Okay. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But... Do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't. But would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant, nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim, 
and to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the king's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through, and yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. Well, a brilliant strategist Reginald was not. They dubbed him the courageous, not the cunning, for good reason, I dare say. <laughs> It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. I like her. I like her personality. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. <laughs> he made you shit Indeed. your pants before he did it. That's so hardly rough. sharp himself. Wisdom in others, Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, Never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. Alas. I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king. Let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but sixteen summers to him. He's sixteen? That's it? And he's thus fully grown. The crown he, he should be able to bear grown. at his age. This is such a, like, wild idea, because... Your brain doesn't stop... I mean, I know this is not something that they knew, like back in the day but still your brain does not stop developing till you're close to 30 you change a lot as a person the idea looking back they used to put so much emphasis on people like 15 16 17 it's almost insane like no wonder they made such bad decisions they're impulsive they don't know what they're doing 16 years old Oof. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that, either. So Anseus is her other son? It's time I attended to other matters. Talk to anybody else. Who's the Grey Rider? Oh! Cool. Remember that you can open your map by clicking the compass rose icon on the left side of the screen. I see it there, but didn't I didn't I pay to have them mark stuff on my map to find? Or am I just tripping? What did I pay for? Oh, that's the wrong tent. Use scouts to mark the location of treasure and resources in your regional map. Hmm. I'm guessing I have to actually do something to do that. Okay, well, we will figure that out the next time I play. Um, I'm going to end this episode here and try not to make these too terribly long. Uh, but, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this. Um, if you guys have tips for me... Please leave them down in the comments, because uh, I'll take every one of them. Like, 
I love playing games like this, but I'm not always the best at them. I haven't really played strategic card games since hell I was in high school. So, uh, all the tips, drop them down there. Let me know. I'll, uh, I'll comment as much as I can. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed this content, please like so we know you liked it, subscribe so you don't miss future content, and leave comments down there. Let us know how you felt about it, and uh, maybe what you want us to play. Alright, have a great day. Bye!